Cape Fear is one of the all-time scariest movies. Cape Fear may have been a remake of a 1962 classic, but Scorsese made it his own. Max Cady, played by Robert De Niro, gets out of jail, and he has plans to take revenge on the family of the attorney who wronged him. Robert De Niro is terrifying in that movie, because no matter what gimmick they come up with to try to catch him, you know he can outwit him. His commitment to evil is so intense, it's, it's unshakable, and he doesn't think he's doing the wrong thing. <laughs> the minute Robert De Niro starts to pick up Ileana Douglas at a bar, you know this is not going to end well. We talked about the scene a lot, and we thought it would be more interesting of, that he first tortures, you know, someone who actually knows the family. This family. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Am I under arrest? <laughs> when I got the original script, he puts the handcuffs on her, and she says, hey, what are you doing? That's, uh, I'm not into that. And, and it was all very predictable. But I thought the more I'm laughing and trying to play along, the more horrifying it is for the audience. What he did to me hurt a lot worse than this. <laughs> relationship between De Niro and Juliette Lewis in that movie is so frightening because it could happen to any family. Every man who's ever had a daughter is probably terrified of the idea of, her, of his daughter going off with somebody like Robert De Niro was in that movie. Do you mind if I put my arm around you? Um. It's okay. No, I don't mind. Okay. You are crawling out of the, out of your seat because Juliette Lewis is so innocent in that movie, and he's just weaseling his way into her life, and um, and there's nothing Nick Nolte can do about it. Cape Fear is the most intense, disturbing, just attack on the senses. It's a great sort of classic revenge story.